the fight against environmental crimes. Welcome to Environment Friend. Friends, today we are discussing about the that nature takes revenge of its destruction. Destruction of nature responsible for COVID-19. People across the planet are asking whether the novel coronavirus pandemic represents nature taking revenge on rampant humanity. Is our destruction of nature responsible for COVID-19 in which a number of researchers today think that it is actually humanity's destruction of biodiversity that creates the conditions for new virus and disease to arise with profound health and economic impact in rich and poor countries alike. We are destroying nature at an unprecedented rate, threatening the survival of a million species and our own future too. But it is too late to have them and us major things. The evidence is inconceivable. Our destruction of biodiversity and ecosystem survives, sur services has reached levels that threatened our well-being at least as much as human-induced climate change. UN report on the state of nature around the world says that the biggest and most through assessment to date put together by 150 scientists and from, from 50 countries. Around 700 vertebrates have gone extinct in the past few, few centuries. 40% of amphibians and third of coral species, shark and marine mammals look set to follow. Ecosystem, species, wild population, local varieties and breeds are domesticated plants and animals are shrinking, deteriorating or vanishing. Our, our expanding farms and cities are leaving less room for wildlife. The other major cause is the direct exploitation of wild such as hunting, climate change, pollution and the spread of invasive species, climate change is set to become were more destructive. If we want to avoid mass extinction and preserve the ecosystem, all plants and animals depend on depend on. The governments, governments should protect a third of the ocean land by 2030 and half by 250 with a focus on areas of high biodiversity. I present just 3.6% of the planet's oceans and 14.7% of the land is protected by law. At the 2000 Nagoya Conference of the Convention of, on Biological Diversity, governments agreed to protect 10% of the oceans and 17% of the land. We are faced with a different set of concerns, unprecedented human numbers coupled with unprecedented demands for resources may have unleashed an ecological tsunami of our own making. This is little of doubt that the COVID-19 pandemic will be a trigger to force our civilization to change some of its fundamental attitudes and our health system or our health by the new virus. We are forced to ask whether our current lifestyle can be continued unchanged. According to a recent Greenpeace study, toxic air, the price of fossil fuels, the daily global health cost of waste gases, emissions from factories, power stations and transports aid to a staggering US aid billion worldwide can be can we get serious about creating an economic system that produces less and that distributes resources more equally, more localized, regenerative production system and lifestyle are gaining in attractiveness because they 
would seem to much more robust home working may become an attractive proposition for growing number of people the covid-19 virus reaping revenge on humanity well we are faced with a very clever new disease vector that is good at keeping and us guessing on how to respond it may be teaching us that there is much to be learned from nature's boundless unpredict un unpredictable table vitality nature is all about give and take about complex interactions between a vast variety of living species it is severely damaged by monocultures in factory farming and also in city living the urban world we are currently engaged in making is a potentially very fragile monoculture of rather self-centered human beings nature can be conserved restored and used sustainably sustainably if we want to save the nature then we have to follow the gandhian philosophy that the earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need but not for every man's greed thank you very much